To make it look like it's snowing or raining in PowerPoint, the, one of the first things you have to do is change your background. So I'm going to right click, format background, and change my background to just a darker color. I'm going to choose black. Then I need to put either a picture of a snowflake or a picture of a raindrop or a shape that I want to put on here that I want to actually animate. So I'm going to insert the circle. Then if I right click, go to format, I can change the color to let's just say like a light blue. Then if I go to glow and soft edges, change my soft edges so that it looks a little bit less like a just a plain circle. Then if I hit control C, which will copy this pic this shape and then control V, I can paste another one. Then I can highlight both of those. Control C, Control V, move another one over. Control C, Control V, move another one over. Now you can put as many of these circles on here as you want, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do six. Okay, the next step would be to highlight all of them. Go to animations, and to highlight, I just draw a box around them. Go to animations, go to fly out, and if I hit preview you'll see they just fall off the page. In the animation tab, go to animation pane, and all these are highlighted. If I right click on that, go to timing, and I want it to repeat until the end of slide. Then you have to go in one by one in your animation pane, right click on this one, timing, and we won't delay it at all and we'll have it go medium. Right click on this one, go to timing, delay it a half a second and we'll have it go fast. Right click on this one, timing, we'll delay it a full second and go slow. Right click on this one, go to timing delay it a second and a half and we'll have it go medium. Right click on this one, timing, we'll have it delay two seconds and go fast. Right click on this one, timing, delay two and a half seconds and we'll have it go slow. Okay, if I hit preview now, you'll start seeing more of a snow effect. Okay, lastly, highlight all your shapes, and if I push them up and get them off the slide, then hit preview, your slide would just start out black and then the snow would start. But this is how you would do any rain or snow background in PowerPoint.